This is the story of Victor, a man who comes from a fictitious country called Krakosia, and although he speaks a completely different language, he goes to the United States to visit. But when he shows his ID, he's escorted by policemen trying to interrogate him about the reason for his trip, without being able to understand each other because of the difference in languages. This situation leads him to meet Frank, who is the director of customs, and while eating his lunch, he tries to tell Victor that his country has suffered a coup d'etat, so travel was banned and his passport is no longer valid. All this means that he can't enter the United States for business travel as a refugee or with any immigration status because the new government of his country is not recognized and this makes him a citizen of nowhere or to make it even clearer an unacceptable citizen but this explanation was in vain because victor understands absolutely nothing and even so he's sent back to the international transit area of the airport with the condition not to leave the airport until his immigration status is resolved because if he does he could be arrested then the police officer escorting him gives him some food vouchers because his krakosia money is worthless in the u.s and a phone card to call wherever he wants. So Victor tries to use the phone but doesn't know how to do it, and although he asks around for help, no one stops to explain. Soon after, he tries to help a woman who can't close her suitcase, but in trying, he ends up breaking it, while the cleaning man named Gupta mistakenly takes his food vouchers that fell on the floor and throws them in the trash. And when Victor tries to get them back, they can't understand each other due to the different languages. So the hours go by, and when it's night, Victor keeps wandering around the airport until he finds a room that seems to be abandoned. He goes in there to try to sleep, although the chairs are not at all comfortable, and in the middle of the night, he wakes up scared when a plane lands behind him thinking it's the police. The next day, Frank receives the news that he's the candidate to replace his boss when he retires, so he's advised to watch out for the process inspectors who will oversee his work. But after a while, through the security cameras, he sees Victor in a bathrobe in the middle of the airport because our tourist is trying to take a shower in the toilet. After a while, Victor goes to immigration, and although at first it's hard for him to understand how complicated it is to go through these procedures, he manages to gather the requirements to be allowed to enter. But the conflict in his country continues, and the agent Torres tells him that he lost the whole day because he is... I don't accept Exactly. In unacceptable. After this, Frank was surprised that Victor didn't try to leave the airport as he was told, even though it's not known how long it might be until everything is sorted out. And to avoid the wandering tourist affecting his work, he plans to do something. So the hours pass and Victor is hungry, but having no money or his food vouchers, he decides to take some crackers and dressing he got in the garbage. And shortly after, Frank approaches him saying that at 12 noon, the airport gates will be without security and he'll be able to get out of there without any problems. But it's really a trap as Frank Frank has planned to have the cops arrest him. And right at noon, he sees through the cameras that Victor is approaching the exit doors, but he doesn't cross them because he quickly realizes that the security camera is following him. Soon after, Victor helps a stewardess who falls on the wet floor and he's immediately crushed. But soon after, he sees that the pretty woman meets a man whom she passionately kisses. Then Gupta talks to his co-workers saying that Victor is a CIA agent who wants to spy on them, but the others don't think much of it. And while he's starving, Victor discovers that at the airport, there is a machine that gives coins when the luggage carts return. So he starts collecting all the ones he finds and uses the money to eat. And each time he returns more and more carts. Later, when he's having dinner, he tries to watch the news about his country, but everything is in English. So he decides to use some of the money he earned to buy books and learn the language by reading reports about friends. So the days go by and Victor learns to read English. And when he returns to immigration, Officer Torres recognizes him and prepares to reject him as soon as she sees him. Although now the atmosphere between them is much friendlier. He then prepares to earn more money by returning more carts, but Frank announces that he has created a new job for someone to take care of this. And so our stranded tourist can't eat and out of desperation dares to walk through the door. All this is seen by a guy in red overalls named Enrique. And then Victor goes back to eating crackers from the garbage. While the flight attendant who he helped last time excitedly greets him. But she wasn't looking for him. She was looking for the man from the other time who now trips Victor making him lose his food. And seeing this mess our protagonist tries to clean it up. But Gupta gets upset because he thinks he's stealing his job. Again it gets dark but when he goes to the room where he sleeps Enrique is waiting for him with food to offer him a deal. And that is the guy who works in the food area and offers him food in exchange for getting information from the officer Torres as he's in love with her. So Victor begins his task of gathering information and does it again and again during the following days. So food is no longer a concern. And just one of those days, Frank tells Victor that they can let him into the country if he applies for refugee status. And the only requirement is that he must testify to being afraid to return to his country. But Victor doesn't want to do that. I'm not fit from my home.
Well, despite his accent, we understand that Victor doesn't want to badmouth his country, so he prefers to return to the transit zone. While there, he overhears the flight attendant while fighting with her boyfriend and finds out that the man is married and she is actually his mistress, and he comes over pretending to use a damaged phone to help her. Then they start talking, and we officially meet Amelia. He tells her that his flight is delayed and that he works as a contractor, and she invites him to dinner, but he obviously turns her down because he can't go out. Plus, he has no money, even though she thinks he sees her as an easy girl. So Victor decides to look for work in the airport stores so he can afford dinner. But this doesn't go very well because everyone laughs at him except for one man who asks for a phone to call him. And Victor is left waiting for hours until the store manager calls him on a payphone to tell him that they hired someone else. Later, he arrives at an area of the airport that is under construction and starts working all night until he remodels a wall. And at dawn, he's surprised by the workers who, seeing his awesome work, decide to hire him. In the following days, he receives an invitation to play cards with Enrique, Gupta, and the baggage man. And although at first the old man distrusts him, he soon gains his trust and they have a good time together gambling with the unclaimed lost objects. Weeks go by until Victor meets Amelia again in a bookstore and for the second time she asks him out, but this time he accepts. Later, Frank discovers that Victor earns more than him in his job and annoyed, he contacts the federal forces to have him imprisoned, but in the end he can't do it. He then puts him in an airport cell because an FBI inspection is coming up and he wants to get everything under control. But just on the walk with the authorities, something unexpected happens. It turns out that there is a passenger traveling with unlicensed drugs and he goes crazy when they try to take them away from him. The problem is that the man speaks the same language as Victor and no one else understands him. So Frank asks for his help to be the translator in exchange for letting him return to the terminal. So Victor communicates with the man and explains the situation. But the passenger says that the drugs are for his father and that he didn't know he needed a license. So he starts begging Frank, but they decide to hold the pills and deport him. Victor tells Frank that he made a mistake and translating and that really the meds are for his cat, since this way the man doesn't need any license. And then he tells the man in his own language what he must say in English to get the pills. And finally he is released. But Frank thinks it's a lie, so he begins to mistreat Victor while his boss sees him. And at the same time, Gupta tells everything that happened to his mates. So from there on, everyone begins to look at our protagonist with admiration. Soon after, Victor goes to Frank's office with a gift to make peace and tells him that he wants to get into New York to fulfill a promise. But the head of customs really hates him, and as long as he works there, he won't let him into the country. So his friends at the airport offer to take him out inside some suitcases. But Victor prefers to ask for their help to find out Amelia's return date and then buys a a nice suit to welcome her. The long-awaited day arrives, and while waiting, Gupta tells him that he's really from India, and that in his country, he stabbed a corrupt policeman, so he can't go back to avoid being imprisoned. But just there, Amelia lands, and all Victor's friends guide her to him. Then he invites her to dinner, and they create a supposed restaurant on the terrace of the airport, where all the employees are waiters and chefs. At one point, he confesses to her that he lives at the airport, but she thinks Victor is just saying that because he travels a lot and doesn't think much of it. So the date ends very well, and they arrange to meet again. Afterwards, we see Victor working on a play that no one knows what it is, and Enrique asks him for one last favor because it turns out he bought a ring for Officer Torres and wants to send it to her with him. So he does, and soon after they get married in the airport chapel, where Victor ends up catching the bride's bouquet. After a few days, Amelia is called by Frank after arriving from a flight, and he asks her why she likes Victor, to which she replies that a man with his intelligence wouldn't understand. So he then tells her the whole truth. Because of this, Amelia goes in search of Victor and claims him for having lied to her, and also tells him that she broke up with her lover. Then he takes the opportunity to show her a gift that he built for her inspired by the gifts that Napoleon gave Josephine. At one point, she gets scared because she thinks he's crazy. But Victor takes a can out of his suitcase and tells her that his father is a fan of a jazz band, and that for 40 years he tried to get autographs of each of the members. But he died before he could find the last one, and so he promised to go to New York to get it. And right there, they end up kissing. Days later, Victor wakes up and his friends give him the good news that the war in his country is over. So they have a big party to celebrate and Amelia gives him an emergency travel visa for one day so he can get the autograph he's missing. New York? Yes! I know New York! But the happiness ends soon because when he invites her to join him, she says that she is back with her lover and leaves with him. Then, a bit sad and a bit happy, he goes to Agent Torres who is about to authorize Victor's entry to the country, but realizes that the visa is missing a signature and the one who should authorize it is Frank, who is preparing his promotion and just sends him back to his country. But Victor insists and Frank threatens him that he will fire his two friends and deport Gupta to be imprisoned in India. So without alternatives, Victor starts to say goodbye to his friends and Gupta gets upset for giving up so 
easily. But then one of the officers tells him everything that happened. This is why the old maintenance man enters the airstrip to commit an infraction so that he will be deported, and Victor has no excuses to surrender, but seeks to keep his promise. Then the airport employees go after our protagonist to escort and give him gifts, while Frank angrily orders the police to arrest him. But the officer who accompanied him at the beginning gives him his coat and lets him leave. So everyone says goodbye and Victor leaves into the city. But when he's about to take a cab, he sees Amelia arriving, who simply says goodbye with a smile. Then Victor goes to the performance of the musician he's missing and tells him the story of his father to get the last autograph. And after fulfilling his promise, he gets into another cab and with satisfaction tells the driver that he's going back home.